photogenic tourist location. Join us now while we explore the islands of the bay and all they have to offer on Bikini Destinations Honduras. On this episode of Bikini Destinations, we travel to Roatan, the largest and most popular of the Bay Islands in Honduras. Here, the people are kind, generous, and the lifestyle is simple. Roatan is uniquely situated in the Caribbean because it enjoys its own incredible rich living reef, making it a paradise for divers, snorkelers, and avid fishermen. This island incorporates the best of two worlds. It offers an array of modern conveniences, yet it maintains its distinctive charm with miles of remote and untouched sandy beaches. While this may sound like other Caribbean destinations, Roatan is the perfect island for people that appreciate natural beauty and want a place to get away from it all. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia, here is Trishel Thompson. My name is Trishel Thompson and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm outgoing, I like meeting new people, I love traveling, especially coming to awesome beaches and trying different things, getting to do fun activities. This experience is, I would say, 10 times better than what I thought. I thought that we were just shooting on the beach Every time we don't, we're not shooting, we have some activity, something that we're getting into, some new little spot that we're checking out. The people here are very, very sweet. The place is gorgeous. It's phenomenally beautiful. I'm really adventurous. I'm an animal nut. Any kind of animal involved, I'm sure I'm going to be game to do it. There would be a lot more people here. I love that it's very secluded. It's really nice. It's very peaceful. The water's crystal clear. You can see right to the bottom. I love that. I like knowing what I'm stepping on. So um, it's beautiful. I love it here. This is a great experience to go back and be able to see the videos and see how much fun we had and all the different places we went to and explored. first beach shoot ever. I've never shot on the beach and I've been dying to shoot on the beach. So I've been begging Casey, Casey please take me on this trip, please. I want to shoot on the beach and Casey is an amazing, amazing photographer. He makes you feel so comfortable and very relaxed and he's, he's just very easy to work with. He makes you feel like everything's perfect and makes you feel beautiful while you shoot. shooting so me and Kayla had time to you know run around and check out the island and we snuck off and we found this little uh, area where all the capuchin monkeys and macaws and jaguars. <laughs> He's a sweet girl. There was a sugar bear that was obsessed with Trishel. It kept trying to kiss her and was like biting her earring off and it was, it was 
so cute. He held her face and was like this. <laughs> yeah, this is animal rescue. Uh, Lisa was brought up to us, was uh, severely beaten, had both of her legs uh, broken, and we nursed her back to health. Lisa is a spider, baby spider monkey. And this is Richard. Oh, oh my is a baby white face. Oh and it seems like they like you. <laughs> At home, I have an African serval. And I'm obsessed with cats. I love, love cats, love big animals. The guy, Matthew, who's the cat trainer, came up to us and said, would you like to swim with the jaguars? And we kind of thought he was kidding. We're like, oh, yeah, sure. Wait, are you serious? We really get to swim with the jaguars? This is for real? Oh, my God, this is so awesome! Please take pictures. Come That day was definitely the highlight of my trip. That was the best day ever, ever. Our next exotic model comes all the way from Lima, Peru. Let's say hello to Catherine Mayer. I'm Catherine Mayer. I am from Lima, Peru. sexy when I put it for the camera, but usually I'm kind of silly and making jokes all the time. I love to visit like different parts of the world, see the different cultures, different people, make new friends. It's my first time here in Honduras, and when I was called to come here, I was like so excited. modeling since I'm 14, so it's been a while working there, and I love it. I love to, to be sexy. I feel natural when I do it. I love my long legs. They give me like an elegant style, because I can be sexy, but no, you know, in a bad way. Always in an elegant way. <laughs> Well, in these experiences of the Canadian Nations, I've been having so much fun. I loved it. It was all different every day, so many experiences. I um, live right in front of the beach with an ocean, amazing view. But you can have also the Andes and the jungle, and each part of Peru is story different than the other one. You can uh, do it in one trip. You will need like three trips to really know about our people. Yeah, I started doing a uh, high couture fashion shows in Peru, but since I've been growing up, uh, I started liking it more like the bikini thing. In my country, I want to those like uh, lingerie you no know, models so I love to be sexy on, on my work. Rotan has something different to offer. There's a huge coral reef here and luckily enough opportunity to do three dives. My name's Ken Seuss, I'm with Barefoot Divers and today we're going to be diving off of Palmetto Bay Resort. Roatan is a national marine park uh, and it is established to preserve the wildlife and the reef structures around Roatan. Being the uh, second largest reef in the world, it's a valuable commodity to Honduras. This is a new mask, never dove with before. It's a whole different experience because it's fully closed. You have no regulator in your mouth, and you can talk to your, your dive buddy. Can you hear me? I can. How are you? I'm good. How's the deep blue we go? Hi, I can't even put it into words, like how exhilarating it is to go down and be able to talk underwater. The 
topography is very unique to the island and that there's a lot of pinnacles, a lot of cracks, a lot of prehistoric um, nooks and crannies in the reef. It almost looks like a canyon. Two coral walls and, and literally it's shoulder width apart. Really, it was intense and uh, once we got through, it just, it was beautiful. agility and playful behavior. The models and I are about to embark on an experience of a lifetime as we get up close and personal with these intelligent marine mammals. Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Bailey's Key. This is home of 19 Atlantic Barnwood Dolphins. Anthony, you sir, was so much fun. I thought we were just going to see the dolphins and then they told us, oh no, you're going to in the action with them and play with them. Next one, this is called a foot push, okay, and it's exactly what it sounds like. They're going to be pushing your feet. They know, they know what they're supposed to do, so they're going to come straight to your feet, and they're going to push you all the way back to the platform. They put their noses on the bottom of my feet, and they're pushing me up into the air, and I just come like Everybody's so nice to begin your destination. Well, this is on my bucket list thing to do. I always wanted to have, get pushed by the dolphins by the feet and fly, fly through the air. So I've swam with them before, but I never got to do the dolphin push, they call it. So I had a blast doing that. That was great. <laughs> Joining us all the way from Montreal, Canada, here is the eternally gorgeous Kaylin Olson. Hi, I'm Kaylin Olson. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Well, my first impression of Honduras was just a uh, tropical paradise. The water is calm, it's beautiful, the beaches are great, the locals are great, they're so friendly and helpful. I would definitely come back here and I would suggest it's anybody else because it really is amazing. I teach Tai Bo, I teach ripped fitness, and I teach speedball. And all three are different and they work the muscles, you burn calories. And to stay in shape, I focus on diet, but it's really about the cardio and finding the right thing for you and the each individual because we're all different. You have to love what you're doing. Thank you, Casey. But we always have fun. We always get amazing shots. 
cause. And I mean, we, we get to travel the world together, so you can't really ask for better than that. I'm Michelle. Um, Bill Connor, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thank you very much yeah. for having me yeah. today. I love, love fishing. The sea was amazing. It was super, super calm. The guys that took us fishing were really, really nice guys. They were helping set up all the lures and everything. And got to catch good, big red snapper. I kept thinking he was gone. I was like, kept reeling and reeling. I'm like, is there really a fish here? And then I'd feel it like jerking. I'm like, okay, he's still there. He's still there. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! I don't think I've caught a fish that big ever. I think in Georgia, I always catch like little, you know, little bass. So that was pretty exciting to pull up a huge fish. A big red snapper that we're going to eat for dinner tonight. <laughs> we got back to the hotel. We filleted the fish and had some fish. And he was delicious. So good. what it was about, but you can see it was like a virgin bed. Yeah. Those girls can shake their butts, that's for sure. I am particularly like uh, close to that kind of music because we have like Afro-Peruvian music too. So I was like in the table like trying to dance my music. I love that. I wish I was dancing more though. I think we all got up there thinking that we could do it and it was not nowhere near as um, Tribal, I guess you could say, as they as they did it. They drew this big heart in the in the sand, and then they put like kerosene inside the heart and lit it on fire. We all got in the middle of it. It was really really cool. And they made a huge bonfire for us, and the food was great. We had fish. I think I had lobster and shrimp that night, which was incredible. <laughs> Our next model comes all the way from Orlando, Florida. Let's peek in on Kayla Fitz. I want to show you what I've got. I am Kayla Fitzgerald from Orlando, Florida. I would describe myself as definitely easy go lucky, very outgoing, easy to get along with, love adventure. I am very athletic, so I like to run, I like to, you know, go to the gym. I've been picking up a little kickboxing lately, so that's been cool. <laughs> I started modeling about two years ago. As time progressed, I just kept meeting more and more people, and things fell into place, and it's been definitely the best time of my life the past two years. I've been able to experience things that I never thought I would, like being here in Honduras and everything that we've been able to do. In the past six months, I've realized that I can go further with it, so I'm taking it a little bit more serious as far as a career is concerned. Obviously, this place is absolutely gorgeous, and everything has been beyond amazing, but being able to enjoy it and spend time with friends and do it together and experience everything together, and I think that's probably one of the best parts about, you know, being here. Oh, the experience here on Bikini Destinations has been so incredible. Uh, you know, shooting with Casey has been awesome. I've always wanted to, and he just has this way about him that just makes you feel so confident and sexy, and he knows, you know, he's so confident that he's going to get the right angles of you, and, um, you know, being in the crystal clear water with the atmosphere and everything, it's just been so amazing.